So we all know that the NVIDIA RTX 5090 video card is insane when it comes to power. It's rated at, I think, 575 watts. That's continuous wattage. It peaks for a millisecond or so, according to some review sites, around 900 watts. So it does consume a lot of power. If you are gaming, and if that game is really GPU intensive, then you're going to max this thing out all the time. And of course, when that happens, it's going to draw an enormous amount of power. Your electric bill will be obviously through the roof. But there's people now using things to kind of like shut down the power supply when things get out of control. And this is what this is all about here. Remember, if you enjoy my content, you can throw me a thanks and encourage me to do more by doing what's up here. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and of course, comment. And this is the original post over on Reddit. And as always, I will link to every source that I use in the video down in the YouTube description below if you want to check them out. So this is basically a combination of a few things here. It's a logic board, really, a PLC, a current sensor, and a power relay. And what all this does is, well, it smart. it's smart. It detects over voltage and bam, turns the power off. So it saves the cable, saves the connector, saves the GPU, saves the computer system, and thus saves everything else that's around it. I mean, when you think about it, this is crazy that people have to do this. A 5090 is mad, like it's mad pricing, right? You're looking at here in Canada, three or $4,000 just for the video card. Then you're gonna go out and be an engineer to do this as well. I, I think honestly, like we are in the twilight zone. Now you might be wondering, why doesn't something like this, maybe a cleaner version of it, mass produced and being sold on sites like Amazon? Well, maybe in the future, somebody will invent something like this because if you can afford an RTX 5090, I'm sure someone will spend three or 400 extra dollars on some cool thing that would detect over voltage and shut the entire system down. However, there is something close on this, but it won't shut the system down. It is this. It is Thermal Grizzly's Wire View GPU connector thingamajiggy. So this thing here really is just for monitoring the power. It logs the power consumption as well. Kind of like organizes the cable routing a little bit because you can plug this into the video card and then plug the other connector into that as well. So, you know, it does something. You can visually see the power drain, but you know, for the price, I don't know if a lot of people would go for it. I think a lot of people who can afford to get an RTX 5090 would go and pay for, you know, something that looked like this, maybe a little bigger, but did this. Now, of course, the 4090 required a lot of power. The 5090 requires a heck of a lot of power, but how much, how much will the RTX 60? 90 video card consumed. Do you think that will peak at 1200, 1300 watts? Because it might. I just hope they're not using the same connector.